एफएससी बायोलॉजी चैप्टर 9 एफएससी बायोलॉजी चैप्टर 9 सेकंड ऑफ बेस्ट लाइन समराइज फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पीपीसी लेक्चर एंड सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट बायोलॉजी एंड बॉटनी इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर 9 वी हैव डिस्कस दीस टॉपिक्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांटी अप टू एवोल्यूशन ऑफ सीड एंड इफ यू वांट टू चेक दैट क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन अबव और गो टू डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द लिंक टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस क्लास जिम्नोस्पर्मी इन द पाइनस लाइफ साइकिल क्लास एंजियोस्पर्मी एंड लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स एज़ वेल एज़ the families the most important rosaceae solanaceae fabaceae sesalpinaceae mimosaceae and poaceae now one thing is for sure that if you can watch this video complete and can understand and memorize all the facts described and discussed you can score easily at least 3 and maximum of 5 marks in your written test of lecturer biology and botany so let's start class gymnospermy gymnosperms are naked seeded plants their seeds is not covered they do not have fruits as well as they do not have flowers they are non flowering plants they cover almost 1/3 of world forest so the forest you see in the pics are almost gymnosperms megasporophylls of gymnosperms are fertile leaves fertile leaves are those basically which can produce next generation so megasporophylls or female sporophylls of gymnosperms are fertile leaves they have dominant independent sporophyte which is gametophyte is conspicuous and dependent now the plant body of the gymnosperm is basically a sporophyte while the gametophyte is always or permanently retained in the ovule so ovule is actually the house of gametophyte forever megasporophylls joins to margins to form ovary so that is very important thing to remember megasporophylls of gymnosperms joins at margins to form ovary now examples of gymnosperms include cycas sagopalm pinus the pine tree texas yew pca hemlock cedrus deodar and ginkgo biloba these are the examples of gymnosperms and these may be asked in the mcqs that which of the following plant belongs to gymnospermy pinus life cycle the main plant body is sporophyte in conifers the conifers are gymnosperms they produce two kinds of spores micro and megaspores hence they are called as heterospores male and female cones grow on same plant with sporangia both have sporangia now male cones are smaller while female cones are larger in size microspores germinate within spore walls inside microsporangia that fact is very important to remember do revise it microspores germinate within spore wall inside microsporangia now microspore having micro gametophyte including gametes is called pollen grain of gymnosperm that is the pollen grain for gymnosperm pollen grains have two wings on lateral sides for dispersal or flight through the wind and reach to distant places or other trees now female cones have spiral scales which are woody in texture because of its large size each scale has two ovules at the base that is another important fact to remember every scale in the megasporophyll or female cone has two ovules at the base now the pinus life cycle <coughs> is ovule is a megasporangium protected by integument integument is a protective coat each megasporangium has single diploid mother cell mother cell which is diploid and uh, when it undergo meiosis it produce haploid functional haploid megaspores undergo mitosis to produce female gametophyte embryo sac or gametophyte female gametophyte is also called as embryo sac contains several archegonia which contain female gametes or eggs in them pollen lands directly on ovule during pollination that is very very important fact for the gymnosperms to remember pollens land directly on ovule during pollination now successful pollens form pollen tube to fertilize only one zygote survive to form embryo and if they are present other zygote they all uh, eliminated after fertilization ovules become seeds that is another important fact 
what are seeds actually ovules become seed after fertilization seeds have stored food as well and germinate to form sporophyte plant now these facts are important to remember fertilization occurs after 15 months of pollination in gymnosperms seed bearing cone is called ovulate sporophyte is diploid while gametophyte is haploid these are three mcqs i have selected from the past papers now here is the sequence of pinus life cycle for easy understanding and remembering the sporophyte plant body produces two kinds of cones male cones and female cones now male cones are have microsporophylls while female cones have megasporophylls now microsporophylls have microspore mother cells in them similarly megasporophylls have megaspore mother cells which are diploid both of these mother cells undergo meiosis and produce haploid microspores in the male and haploid megaspores in the female now these microspores or pollens and megaspores or ovules fertilize to form zygote and that zygote result into seed and that seed again germinate to form the sporophyte plant body that is the whole cycle now why this slide is important it is important for you to remember the stages or steps in sequence because in the mcqs this sequence is asked that which is the correct sequence or best sequence which describe the life cycle of pinus class angiospermy the great angiospermy mean enclosed seed angio mean enclosed so they are also called as flowering plants because they produce flowers ovary after fertilization change into fruit most advanced and highly evolved plants are in angiosperms they have flowers fruits and seeds now indian pipe is a parasitic plant which lacks chlorophyll and that mcq has already been asked in the past paper indian pipe is a parasitic plant which lack chlorophyll life cycle of angiosperms flower is actually a modified shoot having three major structures <clears throat> so what is flower basically flower is actually a modified shoot pedicel thalamus or torus and floral leaves floral leaves torus and pedicel these are the three major structures present in the flower of angiosperm now floral leaves may be sepals petals stamens or carpels these four structures are collectively called as floral leaves reproductive parts are stamens and carpels while sepals and petals are not reproductive part after pollination sepals usually and petals always fall off or eliminated anther have microspore mother cells which undergo meiosis to produce microspores which germinate to produce pollens now pollens are produced after germination of microspores ovules are present in ovaries consist of integument and nucellus integument and nucellus are important terms here to remember which are linked with the ovaries microspores form pollen tube and undergo mitosis to produce two male gametes and tube nucleus two male gametes are important here to remember microspores or male pollens form pollen tube and undergo mitosis to produce two male gametes which are haploid nuclei next megaspore develops into female gametophyte having only seven cells these seven cells are important for you to remember megaspore develop into female gametophyte so in angiosperms the female gametophyte have cells seven among these seven cells only one is egg or oospore please remember it pollen tube grows through style enters ovule and then reach female oospore again one of the two male gametes fuse to form oospore while the second male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus which is a diploid nucleus to form endosperm this is called double fertilization 
एंडोस्पर्म कंटेन न्यूट्रेटिव टिश्यूज और फूड स्टोर्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट कमिंग जर्मिनेटिंग प्लांट और सीडलिंग एंड इज ट्रिपलाइड दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर ऑल द वेरी फेमस नाउ सीड फॉर्मेशन एंड डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन इंटेगुमेंट ऑफ ओव्यूल फॉर्म टेस्टा एंड टेगमन टेस्टा एंड टेगमन आर द टू लेयर्स ऑफ द सीड कोट ओवरी वॉल डिवेलप इन टू फ्रूट सो फ्रूट इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम ओवरी वॉल Fusion uh, nucleus or secondary nucleus. These are the two names for that diploid nucleus in the ovule. Is diploid present inside ovule and one of the two male gametes which reach to ovule fuse with female egg to form zygote, while other male gamete fuse with secondary or fusion nucleus to form triploid endosperm, which is a food storing tissue for seedling. Now. what is difference between monocots and dicots that slide is very very important for you to focus at attend and please uh, learn monocots mean one cotyledon in seed while dicot mean two cotyledon so monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous are two sub classes of class uh, angiospermy these are two sub classes of angiospermy please note that number of petals or sepals in dicot are 4 or 5 or multiples like 8 or 10 or 12 or 15 very very important concept for you to remember that if a plant is dicot then the number of calyx or corolla is 4 or 5 or their multiples if 4 then 8 then 12 then 15 for 3 sorry no 16 so multiples are 4 or 5 similarly in monocots they are 3 or multiple of 3 like 6 9 12 or 15 so no need to remember number of calyx or corolla in the families because you have to just remember that either it is a monocot or it is a dicot if the plant is monocot then there must be three calyx three corolla and if that is dicot there must be four or five calyx or corolla vascular bundles of xylem and phloem form rings in dicots while they are irregularly scattered in monocots that is another identification for the stems or roots leaf venation i mean veins in the leaf in dicot is reticulate reticulate mean networked while in monocots it is parallel venation wood is present only in dicots while monocot stems are mostly herbaceous now these monocot versus dicot slide is very important especially the second point angiospermic families angiospermy or magnoliophyta magnoliophyta is another name or you can say modern name for angiospermic Uh, angiospermy and the families <clears throat> now angiospermy has 64 orders 416 416 families and 13000 genera and almost 2 lakh 35000 to 3 lakh 60000 non species now these are too much families for you to remember so in our course of fsc only six families are discussed out of 416 families rosaceae rose family fabaceae pea family mimosaceae acacia family solanaceae potato family sesalpiniaceae casea family and poaceae grass family or graminea we shall discuss them with the unique and uh, different characteristics now this slide uh, has uh, taken almost 1 hour for me to be uh, to prepare it because these features are very important for mcqs species and occurrence of families now first of all family rosaceae has 100 genera second has 400 genera mimosaceae has 56 and so on now what you have to learn from this table is that which family is largest with respect to genera so poaceae is largest it has 600 genera which is second second is fabaceae with 400 which is third it is sesalpiniaceae which has 152 now in the mcqs the names of these families are given and you are asked to 
arrange them or sequence them with respect to their genera or with respect to their species. So if anyone have larger genera then surely it will have more species. So please remember their order which is largest and which is smallest. Now another important feature is here the distribution. Now you can see that in Fabaceae the area mentioned is temperate region. Similarly in Mimosaceae the native species, native are those species which are only found in a particular area. Now in Pakistan there are almost four genera only for Mimosaceae which are present and 18 species are native. All the rest described above are worldwide. Similarly uh, in uh, Solanaceae you can observe that they are present in tropical and temperate regions. Similarly in Poaceae the word uh, Gramini is the second name for Poaceae. Why Gramini? Because in Latin the generic name for grasses is grammar. That's why this family is also called as Gramini. Now these important features at one slide will help you to compare as well as remember easily the facts. Similarly, the next ones are familiar plants of each family and vegetative characters. Now familiar plants are also important because uh, the scientific names are asked in the paper that uh, common names are mostly given and scientific names are asked. So if you can remember scientific names easily then you must remember them uh, especially for those whose common name is given in the text. So if uh, common name and scientific name both are given then you must remember them and if only common name or only scientific name is given you can ignore them that is a tip for you. Now in this slide the vegetative characters among uh, Prozaceae they have shrubby stems and leaves are alternate with paired stipules. Similarly Fabaceae stem is herbaceous uh, woody with tendrils which what are tendrils? Tendrils are wiry coiled thread like structures. Similarly leaves are alternate leafy stipules. These are important features for stem and leaf to remember for the MCQs. Now the salient feature or distinctive feature here are Mimosaceae have stem is woody similarly. In Cecilpiniaceae the stem is erect. These are distinctive features and the distinctive features are always important to understand and the MCQs can easily be made and can be asked. So please uh, 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 pause the video and compare all the features mentioned here. Similarly uh, in the Poaceae you can see leaves are solitary and this solitary feature uh, is not present uh, elsewhere that's why that is unique feature. Similarly extipulate the word extipulate is only present in Poaceae. So these uh, uh, columns of the tables will help you to compare and remember these facts easily and you can pause the video and can revise one by one. Similarly in this slide floral characters are summarized of all six families. The first one you can see I have mentioned above dicot, dicot, monocot because the pattern is similar. If the plant or family is dicot then you can easily see that calyx 5, corolla 5, stamen 5. Similarly calyx corolla 5, 5, 5 in all dicots. But the only family poesy has monocot plants and there is no calyx or corolla but the perianth. So their perianth absent or have two or three fleshy scales called lodicules. So there is no calyx or corolla in POAC. That is important thing. What is the replacement for calyx and corolla that are lodicules? Perianth is absent that is calyx or corolla. Now again the presentation here is very important to compare or remember. Please note in rose AC presentation is basal while in the Fabaceae marginal, Mimosaceae marginal and in Solanaceae it is exile, Cecilpiniaceae it is also marginal and in Poaceae the placentation is not given in the book. 
so you have to remember the discriminating features or distinctive or salient features which make uh, that group of plant uh, different or unique to others so also uh, you can pause the video and can uh, watch and read all the slides uh, deeply the next uh, is uh, inflorescence that inflorescence question is uh, must or uh, that is the r2 question kind uh, which is asked in every paper of biology as well as botany so the types of inflorescence or arrangement of flowers in the uh, different families is very important in rose ac the inflorescence is variable or solitary may be racemose or cymose these exact words are asked in the paper or given in the mcq choices similarly fabaceae racemose or solitary axillary similarly mimosaceae spike like umbel globose these are unique words which are linked with these families so you have to remember these unique features only because unique are only asked and other which are similar they are not asked similarly in solanaceae you can see axillary cyme or helicoids these are unique words similarly sesalpiniaceae axillary and terminal raceme while in poaceae there is compound made up of spikelets so these are salient features which differentiate these families from each other the inflorescence similarly the flowers you can see all the flowers almost are bisexual all the families have bisexual so one one uh, character is uh, 100% clear similarly actinomorphic in rosy c zygomorphic in fabaceae actinomorphic actinomorphic again zygomorphic in sesalpiniaceae and zygomorphic in poaceae so actinomorphic are three as well as zygomorphic are three so in this way you can compare or learn these features easily in no time instead of focusing and reading and memorizing and memorizing from the text just uh, pause the video and revise them easily now the economical importance rose ac rank third in commercial importance among flowering plants the family rose ac large number of plants are ornamental which are decorative plants uh, in the gardens in the houses in the parks etc like rose since ancient times now crataegus provide uh, walking sticks now it is uh, very very important to remember not understand remember these facts for mcqs from the families because they are for sure two mcqs at least from the families tobacco pipes are made from wood of pyrus pestia rose is used to produce gulkand rose oil and arke gulab and uh, rose water arke gulab is used to cure eye diseases uh, we usually use uh, for our eyes to be cleaned solanaceae economic importance mostly it provide drugs and food solanum tuberosum is major staple food for irish people and solanum tuberosum is potato so they are potato people irish people lycopersicum esculentum which is tomato the scientific name of tomato was once believed to be poisonous fruits of capsicum annum and capsicum uh, frutescens are rich in vitamin c and a and are used as condiment condiment mean uh, they are uh, flavor flavor adders in the food they add the flavors husk is obtained from physalus ground cherry a bladder like calyx bladder like calyx here is important or unique feature now nicotiana tobacco nicotiana tobacco you may say leaves are used in cigarettes that is tobacco alkaloids rich plants like uh, atropa belladonna yield atropine while datura produce daturine which are used medicinally they are alkaloids fabaceae economic importance this family is high protein source like pulses of gram pea and kidney beans etc medicagustiva is best forage crop for horses timber plants are butia and dalbergia now arachis ibogia seeds are used to extract peanut oil or in urdu we see mong phali indigo dyes are obtained from uh, indigo fira tinctorial and yellow from butia these two dyes or two colors are obtained from these two plants and uh, <clears throat> please remember indigo dyes indigo dyes indigo is a color as well as yellow is a color so these two colors are obtained from these two different plants 
मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स लाइक ग्लाइसराइजा ग्लैबरा आर यूज एज क्योर फॉर कफ कोल्ड एंड क्लाइटोरा टीमेटा इज यूज अगेंस्ट स्नेक बाइट नाउ स्नेक बाइट वैक्सीन और यू कैन से स्नेक बाइट ड्रग हेयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिक फीचर हेयर फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर क्लाइटोरिया टिमेटिया इज यूज अगेंस्ट स्नेक बाइट्स रेड एंड वाइट सीड्स ऑफ एबरस प्रिकटोरियस आर यूज एज वेट्स एज सिमिलरली यू कैन से रत्ती ज्यूलर यूज दिस टर्म एज रत्ती माशा तोला एटसेट्रा सो रत्ती इज बेसिकली वेट एंड इज यूज बाय ज्यूलर एंड दैट वेट इज मेड फ्रॉम द सीड्स ऑफ दिस एबरस प्रिकटोरियस प्लांट सेसल पीनियसी इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस लीव ऑफ केसिया एलाता आर यूज टू क्योर रिंग वर्म एंड स्किन डिजीज अगेन इट इज अक फीचर ड्रग सिन्ना इज अ बेस फॉर लेग्जेटिव ओबटेन्ड फ्रॉम केसिया सिन्ना लीव ऑफ बोहिनिया वेरीगेटा आर यूज एज वेजिटेबल एंड टमरेंडस इंडिका इज रिच इन टाटेरिक एसिड बार्क ऑफ बोहिनिया एंड टमरेंडस इंडिका आर यूज इन टैनिंग और कलरिंग द लेदर हेमोटॉक्सिलीन इज अ डाई ओबटेन डाई अगेन कलर ओबटेन फ्रॉम लॉन्ग वुड हेमोटॉक्सिलोन नाउ माइमोसेसी इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस प्रोवाइड कमर्शियली इंपॉर्टेंट वुड सो दैट इज दैट फैमिली इज फेमस फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग टिम्बर और वुड फॉर फर्नीचर एंड हाउसेज एटसेट्रा अरेबिक गम इज ओबटेन फ्रॉम अकेशिया निलोटिका एंड अकेशिया सीनिगल द डाई कथा इज ओबटेन फ्रॉम अकेशिया कैटीट्यू Leaves of Acacia nilotica are also used as blood purifier. Prosopis species are used to break the wind pressures in those areas in which the winds are very at high speeds. POAC economic importance. Grassy cereals are important food sources for human and animals. Sugar is obtained from Saccharum officinarum. Sugar cane very important scientific name to remember. Leaves of bambusa are cure for horses against cough and cold. Whisky, whisky, beer, shrub kind. Whisky is obtained from rye, barley, and corn. While rum is obtained from sugar cane. Ropes are made from fibers of leaves of saccharum munja. Now, one tip again, I revise. that please remember all the scientific names given in the text which have their common names with them because either the common names are asked in the options or the scientific names are asked in the options so you have to remember or memorize only those scientific names whose both common name and scientific names are given that's it for today inshallah upcoming video will be of chapter 10 and that is very important video for those who are appearing in lecturer zoology and biology as well thank you so much for staying with me stay blessed stay successful and allah hafiz